When I left off, we were talking about the uh, local oscillator here in this area. But if we back up just for a minute here, let's uh, just talk about what happens here in that 12SA7. Again, we've got our uh, signals coming in out of the air. We're uh, selecting those and resonating at the off-air frequency here through that uh, tuner section. And again, if we go back to the uh, local oscillator, in our case, it's going to reside uh, 455 uh, kilohertz above the uh, tuner frequency. And you can see everything gets mixed inside the uh, 12 SA7 tube. So we're going to have the uh, sum and difference here. And uh, what we're going to utilize the rest of the way through the uh, radio, as far as a modulated uh, RF carrier, will be 455 kilohertz. Let me show you a little uh, chart that I put together to in Excel that uh, kind of breaks down the uh, tracking of those uh, four different uh, frequencies. So you can see here I've listed the uh, tuner section down here in the uh, bottom section of the uh, grid. And I'm just showing the uh, frequencies here for my radio, 540 uh, kilocycles or kilohertz all the way through 1600. And uh, just above that line, you'll see the uh, local oscillator right here. And if you follow that line across, you'll see the associated local oscillator frequencies that uh, should be generated by the uh, local oscillator circuit. And if you look at the difference here, of the uh, IF, you can see we're consistently uh, 455 kilohertz all the way across. So that's the frequency that we'll use going forward, and that goes into the uh, transformers T1 and T2 that will resonate at 455 kilohertz. So uh, we'll sharpen up things narrow the bandwidth, and then we'll amplify the uh, signals at that point before uh, converting things back to uh, audio. Just some preliminary checks here of the uh, IF transformers. Uh, you can see I've got my signal generator hooked up to points in blue, the oscilloscope in orange, and I'm using a 10 picofarad uh, capacitor there between the uh, signal generator and the IF just to reduce any loading. Not so uh, concerned about the uh, resonant frequency there that you see, which is uh, less than 455. Some of that may be out of alignment of the IFs or it may just be the loading itself. This is an in-circuit test only. And I was just looking to make sure the uh, ratio of gain between input and output was uh, very close to a one-to-one -one relationship. Same exercise here for uh, the transformer T2, as you can see with the uh, connection points indicated again in blue and the uh, output going to the oscilloscope in orange. You will notice this particular transformer shows it resonating at a little higher frequency. So. Uh, We'll see what the uh, condition of these transformers look like when we get to the uh, IF alignment after the uh, capacitors and resistors are replaced as needed. We discussed the uh, B plus earlier, but you can see here I'm just kind of redrawing it. You can see it coming across and making its way up to the screen grid, pin number four there on the uh, 12 SA7. You also see that it connects there to the uh, T1. IF transformer. You can see here the uh, B plus would continue to uh, route through that uh, primary side of the uh, transformer and uh, make its way back over here to the uh, plate itself of the uh, 12SA7. So uh, should the uh, primary here open, as you can see right here, that would not allow the uh, B plus voltage to make its way back to the uh, plate itself, pin number three. So again, just being one of the uh, common failure points, you know, should you read uh, voltage on the screen grids, and this would apply to T2 as well, but not on the plates, then uh, you would just almost bet that you've got a problem there on the uh, IF transformer side. 
So uh, just checking DC resistance, and that's why the uh, resistance was called out on these uh, coils. Just so you got some general idea of uh, DC resistance between the uh, points 1, 2, 3, and 4, as you can see denoted. You can see here, if you look at transformer uh, T1 and T2, the uh, primary and secondary are magnetically coupled to each other. And the uh, output itself here of the uh, energy is going back over to the uh, grid pin number 4, which is going to be amplified. And you can see in this case, one IF amplifier and the uh, gain here being about 100 times. So there's a lot of amplification that occurs here within the uh, that particular uh, tube, the 12SK7. And you can see here through uh, T2, it's almost an identical circuit here to uh, T1. That amplified signal enters back through the uh, primary and back out the secondary over to the uh, diode of the uh, 12SQ7 where we take the uh, RF and extract the uh, audio signal. So the big takeaways here really just check DC resistance as noted on the schematic and if it's not noted on the schematic you'll probably in most cases find you know anywhere from uh, 12 to 20 ohms or so of DC resistance for these All-American 5 IF uh, transformers. So something else that can happen here to uh, T1 and T2, the uh, coils themselves can absorb moisture. And just like we talked about in the oscillator coil, when that occurs, the uh, selectivity would be reduced in addition to uh, sensitivity of the receiver you would uh, have a lower Q or quality factor. So if that occurs, then uh, probably best bet would be to uh, replace the uh, IF transformers. Silver mica disease was very common as well for these particular transformers for this period of time. Again, you may experience rapid changes in volume with uh, loud popping or somebody like uh, mashing up a paper bag is what you would hear. Go to the uh, antique radio forum and just do a search for silver mica disease. You can see uh, many threads on the subjects with some uh, great workarounds and solutions as well. That concludes the uh, video for today. I wanted to try to keep this one a little shorter than the last one. And uh, when I come back, we'll touch real quick on the uh, filament voltage here. Series strung uh, radio, of course. And uh, just talk about a few things there that are uh, maybe helpful for folks that are new in the hobby. You guys uh, continue to uh, take care of yourself. Stay well. Thanks again for watching.